Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Haley Fick. The SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle arrived at station this week with science that can only be done in microgravity. On Monday, August 14th, Dragon lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida with more than 6,400 pounds of supplies. Then astronauts Jack Fisher of NASA and Paolo Nespoli of the European Space Agency used the station's robotic arm to capture and install Dragon on Wednesday, August 16th. Among the cargo is more than two tons of research that will study cosmic rays, protein crystal growth related to Parkinson's disease, bioengineered lung tissue, and more. Dragon is scheduled to depart space station in mid-September, returning more than 3,300 pounds of science, hardware, and crew supplies to Earth. Two cosmonauts ventured outside the space station this week. Cosmonauts Fyodor Yurchikin and Sergei Rozansky donned their Russian Orlan spacesuits for several hours of science and maintenance in the vacuum of space. A highlight of the spacewalk occurred when Sergei manually deployed five nanosatellites, including the first 3D printed CubeSat, into Earth orbit. On August 21st, everyone in North America will be treated to at least a partial solar eclipse, with 14 states seeing a total eclipse but six lucky humans will get to see it from space. Astronaut and photography lover Randy Bresnik took some time to discuss capturing the eclipse from Space Station and what he's looking forward to. During a Facebook Live on the Space Station account on August 11th, he took questions about how the crew is preparing for the celestial show. Well, we get three different looks at the eclipse. The first time will be just off the west coast. We'll actually kind of cross the uh, cross the path of the of the sun, and we'll have about a 44 percent eclipse looking up from the space station. The second pass, we'll be north of about Lake Huron uh, in Canada, when we are able to see the umbra or the shadow of the uh, uh, eclipse actually on the uh, on the Earth. And then the third pass is actually just off the east coast. We'll come around one more time. And from the station side, see about an 85% eclipse of the sun looking up. So we should be able to get a really neat photos with our filters of the sun um, being occluded by the, uh, by the moon. Make sure to go back and give it a watch at facebook.com slash ISS in case you missed it. You can follow NASA's eclipse coverage on Monday, August 21st at nasa.gov slash eclipse live and on social media with the hashtag Eclipse2017. Keep sending your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.